Hey everybody, Isaiah here at Sofo Survival. In this video, we are freeze drying eggnog. Okay guys, so what I did is I just went down to Costco, my favorite place, and bought this. It comes in a two pack. It's the ultra pasteurized, just standard eggnog. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freeze dry it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the trays. I am all out of room in my freezer, so I'm just gonna throw this right into the freeze dryer and use that as my freezer. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. But basically, I just fill up our trays here and then uh, stack them up with these stackers and uh, take them downstairs. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of give that a good shake like it says, one. Yep, delicious and amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pour this right onto the trays. And I'm not gonna go super full, I'm gonna go about halfway up. I'm gonna try to distribute it so I've got basically two trays per container. Should be about right. I don't want to. I don't want to go too far up to the edge. Sometimes, if you go too full on liquid stuff like this, this milk, whatever, if you go right up to the edge, sometimes it can cause problems. Pre-freezing it really, really makes a big difference. Um, if you put liquidy type stuff in your freeze dryer, um, just without freezing it, sometimes if the machine, if the if everything doesn't get completely frozen. Um, like it should before that vacuum pump kicks on, it can actually take the liquid and pull it up and over the edges of the tray, cause a huge mess in your freeze dryer. So I'm gonna freeze all this stuff in the freeze dryer, like I said, um, and use it as my freezer, but, but I wanna make sure it's nice and, and rock hard solid frozen before I actually freeze dry. Okay, so very carefully, I'll just do that. Add my stackers. These things are so handy, I love these things. Sweet, and that actually gives me just enough and I'm last myself. Okay, so we're gonna just carefully take these downstairs. Hopefully I don't trip and fall down the stairs and oh. Okay, I just wanna show you real quick what this is like. So with these stackers, it's kinda nice. You can take that whole stack and just carry it as is. Now, another reason why I didn't fill them all the way to the brim is because if I tip at all, I mean, I'm gonna spill this all over the place. So it gives me just a little bit of wiggle room as I walk. So. Just very carefully and slowly, we'll take this on downstairs. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do, <laughs> first of all, I did make it downstairs safely, didn't trip and fall down the stairs as I was worried. So something to actually think about, I thought about this as I was about halfway down the stairs. It, liquidy stuff, if you're gonna use this method, you might wanna just fill those trays up right here um, with your freeze dryer, make it a little simpler and you're not having to worry about possibly spilling. But basically what I'm gonna do here, and this is kind of a workaround. This is nothing official from Harvest Ride or anything, but I have found that this has worked for me. When you go in, you push this little leaf button. This is the functional testing screen. And you'll go into here when you get your machine and you set up and do your tests and stuff. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the machine on. This turns on the condenser and it just, it starts to freeze everything in here. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave it on and it's gonna freeze like that. And it's just gonna get cold in there like a like a freezer. And so I'm gonna put my eggnog in there and it'll just keep going um, until I tell it to turn off. So I mean, I'll probably leave it on there all day and let it freeze completely. And then, uh, and then we'll turn that off and we'll just basically start the cycle as normal and go from there. Okay, we made it in without incident. We're full. 
Um, I actually filled those a little fuller than I thought I did. I would probably fill them a little less full on the next run, but it worked. All right, here we are. So our tray is saying our trays are negative 39 degrees, so that's awesome. We're gonna hit done. And then basically start her on up, load food into, food into the freeze dryer. We are on our way. All right, so check this out. We're at 27 hours, 16 minutes. This ended in the middle, uh, actually this morning. It's night right now, but it's been sitting here all day. So we're at negative 51 degrees. Just kind of gone back into this freezing mode. I call it suspension mode, but I don't know what it's actually called, but check this out. This is so awesome. This uh, eggnog is just totally crispy and uh, com seems completely dry. It's super cold right now, so I can't tell if there's any moisture in there anymore, but, but it's just, it's crumbly, which is really, really cool. Um, all the trays are about the same, but yeah, I mean, I could pick this whole thing up in a big sheet if I wanted to pull it out of there, but um, it's night, it's like 10.30 right now. I really don't feel like uh, packaging this up, plus I'd love to dry it some more, so I'm gonna throw this in here and I'm gonna put it in for another like nine or 10 hours while I'm sleeping tonight. Uh, let's close, close the drain valve over there. I'm just gonna let it dry for a while longer and I'll pick this up uh, in the morning. Right, guys so here we are we have gone about 37 hours um, so I had it in for a day make sure 12 hours or so I can't remember exactly how long it's been but releasing the drain valve there and we are the trays are nice and warm so when we pull them out they won't collect condensation which is good and it's just totally crispy crunchy like styrofoam it's awesome okay so we're gonna take these babies out let's uh we're gonna blend them up and powder it okay guys so this it's so cool it's crazy it's just super crispy crunchy it's awesome you can see the little crystals in there how they formed when when it froze Okay, so what's crazy is we had basically one of these containers per every two trays and that is what it ended up being. So we got, you know, 64 ounces of eggnog into a little less than about 24 ounces worth of powder. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's package this up. Right there. All right, to the oxygen absorber part, I've got. And this is a little overkill for how small these, uh, how small these little pouches are. But these are 300 cc oxygen absorbers. I've got this food saver, and I always like to reseal my remaining oxygen absorbers that I'm not going to use to make sure that they're 100% ready to go for the next time around. Okay, set that there, let that seal. And then these, we'll just kind of push a little bit of the air out that we can.
Okay, good morning everybody. Um, rehydration tests for the eggnog, but we got exactly 10 packages. Um, these little Mylar packages are awesome. It works great for little powdered stuff like this. Um, I'll put a link to those in the description below. I just got them on Amazon. But bits, okay, so this is the eggnog we did. We did two of these, 64 ounces. So we had 128 ounces and we got 10 packages. And I tried to, you know, I'm not, I'm not, exact, I don't weigh everything out, but I tried to distribute those into these bags as evenly as I could. So if we were to do the math, we'd end up being about 12.8 ounces per um, package, or at least 12.8 ounces worth. So if we were to rehydrate it all back into the original 128 ounces, each one of these would be 12.8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rehydrate part of one of these. And this bottle right here is 16.9 ounces. So, I mean, if you were to just kind of estimate, you know, it'd be about that much worth. I'm gonna probably do about half of that just to see. I'm, I'm gonna show you what the consistency of this stuff does. All right, so open it up, pull that oxygen absorber out. And it is super cool. This powder is just like so awesome. Okay, so there's about half of that. And by the way, I, uh, I like to throw this stuff in my protein shakes as well. You can just grab a scoop or two and throw it in um, whatever your favorite protein is. I like to just do ice, milk, protein powder, a little bit of agave, uh, a little bit of eggnog, and a little bit of uh, either cinnamon or nutmeg. Um, it's been kind of a good one lately. But okay, let's just throw some of this water in here. That might have been a little too much for how much I put in there. And I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a, an exact science kind of person when it comes to this. I just kind of eyeball it. So, if you put it in and it's not enough, Add a little more. It's a little bit on the chunky side right now, but as we sit here and mix it in a little bit, those chunks will mix in. Another handy tool my wife just reminded us we had is this little electric mixer thing. And you just push that button, it's got a little whisk on the end. Throw that in there. Yeah. That'll whip it up nice and smooth. Even gives it a little bit of a, I don't know, thicker kind of foamy, almost feel like it, like it had originally. It's awesome. Yeah, it's. I could drink this all day. So good. Good, just plain. But like I said, you can mix it in with other stuff too. So that's it. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you. If you like the video, comment. Um, maybe you've done something similar. Um, maybe you've done eggnog and had a good or a bad experience. Let us know about it. Thank you, guys. Have a great day and see you on the next video.